Bradley United uh, Gold, Star Alliance Gold uh, Lounge. And there's many sections to it. I really like this one. It's got it's got uh, terraces, um, viewing decks. There's a there's a room here. This is a media room, but it's pretty chill. I like when the TV's off. They've got a wonderful selection of food. They've rotated out from breakfast to lunch. And they also have tons of alcohol for those that uh, like to have a drink before their flight. Um, tons and tons of selections in terms of coffee and, and other things. You can pretty much grab anything you want. It's amazing. And we, we have a little bit. Um, I'm eating a little avocado uh, chicken sandwich. It's nice and it's a pretty popular lounge i really like it um there's no signage for where to get how to get to the lounges when you come into the tom bradley this terminal b but you pretty much just go to the main tower just take a quick right by the shopping area and then that's where all the lounges are kind of go up the stairs and keep going and poor signage hopefully they work on the signage but we made our way up here and um definitely worth it if, you can, if you've got status or if you paid for it um, it's definitely worth the stop especially if you're here for a couple hours you've got an international flight coming up so we've enjoyed our time here and we're super excited to go to Spain fun lounge here haven't been to outside yet this is really great yeah I enjoyed it there's lots of different areas which makes it really nice um, to kind of find your own cozy spot, whatever vibe you want. Um, any kind of alcohol, really, lots of different options for wine, which I appreciate. Normally they're like red or white and that's it. But here mm -hmm. everything is self-service again, which it wasn't for a couple years. <laughs> so, yeah, we're having a good time. This is a fun little patio area. They got a little water wall over here. I like it. Plane's taking off right now. Tom Bradley where it's at in LAX. Check this lounge out, fun little lounge. We've got a fun flight ahead. We're flying to Barcelona through Istanbul because we had to redeem some uh, Istanbul uh, Turkish Airlines um, travel certificates. So we did that. So we get fly a little extra, but it's still fun. Guys, we're going to Spain. It's gonna be so fun. We're gonna really take Europe by storm this year. So definite change in mood. But ironically, last time we flew to Peru where they speak Spanish, we're kicking off this next like segment of our journey in Spain. So it's been really nice to spend a little bit of time at home, see family, uh, get new passports because we had to get expanded books. My goodness. Yep, we now did the work. Ready to go. Got 24 new pages. <laughs> so we're gonna spend a week in Barcelona, and we've got a lot in store, guys. A lot of fun stuff coming up. Istanbul in Spain. Here we come. Yeah. Quick review of my setup here. Got a really fantastic screen, flexible. I have a reversible fun little keyboard game mouse so we can play some games and it looks like it's also a cell phone um, so that's cool hello it's retractable so in case I want to play a fishing game do that look I have like a coax here Ethernet USB an old one USB 3 coat hanger for rest so I can work on my calf exercises and blanket and I got an extra blanket hygiene set thank you for your cooperation yeah Hummus. Yes, we got a hummus, cucumber, and uh, is it couscous? Bulgur wheat. What? It's like bulgur. 
Vulgar. Vulgar? No. Vulgar. Mm. Love that. One shrimp. Rushing on our way to uh, our gate. It leaves in an hour. We just got into Istanbul. Don't have time for baklava. Aww. But we do have time to get to Barcelona. We really bummed because we liked the lounger and we didn't even get a chance to stop in and like get any food or anything or coffee, which I desperately need. Those are the pods we slept in that one time. Up there. All the memories. Okay, we barely made it. Look, this is the very end of the line. We're jumping right on. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> now I'm gonna take a nap. Very last bag. 
Oh. <laughs> Literally, we thought they completely lost our bags and it was so annoying because the, the carousel stopped and everything and we we're like, oh no, they didn't make it in the transfer even though we did. And there's that moment where you're like mentally like, okay, I think I, I think I'll be fine. I think I have most of what I need immediately in my backpack, but you're like trying to mentally double check, but I'm just really glad they came through.